Joanna. We're mirror twins, so I am right handed and Lisa's left handed. I ha have more like a maths logic brain and Lisa's much more creative. Um, so we use different sides of our brains. Um, obviously we use both of them, everyone has to use both sides of their brain, but they just you just rely on one more. So I get up early, I like to get up, do yoga and then I can reply to emails before anyone else is even at work yet. And I go to bed quite early so I guess to like cram in all the time that I need to do work and take over the world, so that's my phone. Um, that would probably be Lisa, just up. Ten past eleven. Oh yes, she's up. Yeah, morning world. So I'll get up an hour earlier than her, but I stay in bed for an hour. So I always schedule my day that I can stay in bed for an hour because I never get to spend time by myself, so I have to schedule that time to sit and think my thoughts. Cute. And then I get up and do the day. Excuse the mess. This is not a good representation of my morning. I like a good old fashioned builder's tea, but I don't have any milk, so. I've actually just come across that because seemingly decaf tea like, has more chemicals in it than normal tea. Come through. So my grid of love. So this used to be a lot tidier than it is now actually. Luke likes to add things to it when just when he's cleaning up, but this one uh, is probably quite drinks related actually. Um Famous Grouse made us a, our own bottles, the famous Matt twins. And they made like eight of the bottles and don't know where they've all gone. Lisa's drank all of hers. Our mates have drank them all, so there we go. This is a shrine to my dad. So that was the poem that me and Lisa read out at his funeral. And then these are the the hearts tickets that, um, the last hearts game that he took Luke to. So he died three years in May. Alan and I have never talked about it to each other, about dad dying. Um, we, it's, I don't know, it's just too painful. Like you just know that, what the other person's feeling, so you just don't, I think you just don't go there. But we know each other's there, it's like a, just an unsaid support, I guess. But yeah, I envy the way that she deals with things. Um, Cause she is, she's just good at being a human. More so than I am. <laughs> I always say goodbye to Luke and Pong, go and kiss them, cause you never know when you're gonna see someone again. But I think when you've had someone die of a sudden death, you think everyone's gonna die. So like, when, when Dad died, we just got a phone call to say that he was dead. So every time I'd leave the house now, I think, oh my God, what have I come back and they're not there? So I'm Right, bye then. I love that she's bye married. Then. I love, it's quite good because she's like the stable one in our relationship and that just sort of like accentuates it. I think as well, like since Dad died, like once that family structure goes, you look for that stability in other ways. And because Alana's more stable, I feel more stable. The wedding, Lisa thought it was her wedding as well. She kept on saying, our wedding. I was like, it's not your wedding. She's like, well, it is. I was like, it's not your wedding, it's my wedding. Her success is my success, really. There was moments of um, when she was getting married, it took up quite a lot of time and ate into work time a lot. Like when she was on honeymoon, I think we got offered six jobs and we argued about it for like five minutes and then I'm like, and her wedding day was like, the happiest day of my life as well. <laughs> um, Chief Gooseberry. I, I don't know how any presenter does it on their own. How did they just talk to themselves for all that time, for four hours? Oh, there's no way I could do it on my own. And Lisa's the better presenter, so... Probably wouldn't have got the job. But you have to have, like... You have to be if we, on point, like your brain's got to be like, for four hours, switched on. Hi! 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 Jane! How are you? Good, We've been up for so many jobs and not got them, but before we used to be like so devastated and like, think our, all our worlds were caving in. But now we sort of see like, that what's for you won't go by you, so when one door closes, it, it's always happened that if we've not got a job, something's better come along. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it's just you and a studio with a microphone. 
So we've made it into everything, all our hopes and dreams. You do kicking Craig. Um, it's the best four hours of our week. It's bold statement. But it is. Do you, do, you want me to write the, do you want me to do the mic? Or are you going to be alright dipping it a bit? I can dip it there, don't you worry about that. Dip, dip it below, pick it up slow. It's the Mac Twins live on Virgin Radio. We're with you until 11 o'clock. Right. Stay tuned. Be good. Tracks, new music. Virgin Radio. Um, Alana needs to be here because we're doing a dance video to this song. Where is she? She just went to the loo. Why are you going to film you? She's just so little video. We can always preview it on the next yeah. track if we need to, but... You missed the song, mate, and you missed the drop. It's three minutes. Yeah, no, but the drop was there. There's another one. No, we'll see. No, we'll see. How did she do it? Come on. Hi. Their relationship as siblings and best friends and work partners, they can just change between all of those so quickly. I've seen them like in the craziest, you know, fun moods and then instantly switching to right. Like, we've got to get into this. What are we doing? What's the plan? Here we go. And I mean, here they are doing amazing stuff. Best friends forever. I am excited about the Bitter Wars, but I just, I don't know. What really, to do before them? I just don't, don't really know it. what to expect. Like, we've done so much stuff before and been really excited and then been disappointed. I am. Um, I've not had any soap or anything in the hotel, so I've been using like shampoo for everything. Yeah. Take my eye patches. So that I look 21 and not 28. <laughs> yeah, I don't really get nervous because I've got this. I think if I was doing it on my own, I probably would be nervous. If you're standing about, because a lot of time red carpet, you're standing about until people come. You can just be with each other. Imagine just standing on your own. But it doesn't feel like work in terms of like it's a chore. But I don't think work should be a chore. Well, I wouldn't want it to be a chore anyway. I wouldn't want to wake up in the morning and go, oh, I've got to go to work today. To be fair, there is sometimes on a Saturday night when all my friends are going out and I'm like, oh, I've got to go to work today. But it's different. It's not like that dread in your tummy. I think this is more of like a bucket list than a career, career thing, because like when you're younger, you always would watch the Brits on TV and like, just be like, oh my God, the Brits. You see it more as a business now and a job rather than a jolly. And I think for years, we saw it as a bit of a jolly. Um, working with each other has probably kept us sane and insane in equal measure. It's a jolly holiday with Mary. But it has probably helped us get to where we are yet. Not because of like any USP or anything like that, but I think just because you sort of help each other along and like Anna's strengths are my weaknesses and vice versa. Um, and so we might have given up by now. We hadn't had each other. Being best friends. The, the thing is, Why are you not just calling him and seeing what it is? I can't get a number! They shouldn't have laid those ones out then. Cheer up, Charlie. Shut up. Everyone else is late like us. We just started at half seven ceremony. Yeah. 
We're just coming in now. We've got stuck in traffic. Cool. We'll be there in like two minutes. We're proving that sisters can actually work together. For now. Everything in life is only for now. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect, thanks. Thanks. Only for now. Only for now. Only for now. Only for now. is only for